Welcome to the SAP Ariba walkthrough. My name is Rick, Associate Ariba Consultant at Brainbox Consulting. In this session, I will give you insight into the UI of guided buying. But first, what is guided buying? Guided buying was developed by SAP to make buying simple for infrequent users. They recognize that the interface of Ariba buying and invoicing can sometimes be overwhelming and that it takes time to master. For infrequent users, it is simply not efficient to engage in Ariba training. They would rather spend their time on their key activities, of course. With guided buying, SAP Ariba replicated the consumer purchasing experience. It is like buying something from Amazon or eBay. This does not require training and everybody can do it, leading to a higher user adoption and a better management of spend. To properly understand the workings of guided buying, it is good to know how it is positioned in the SAP Ariba suite. In the SAP landscape, guided buying is seen as a capability of Ariba buying. It is also important to highlight that guided buying can also draw data from strategic sourcing modules as well as supplier management modules. This is a guided buying homepage, which just looks like a typical web shop. At the top, there is a notification drop-down menu, a shopping cart, and a button to access your user profile. Below that, there is a customizable banner containing a search field where users can find certain goods and services based on keywords. Uh, guided buying has four different tabs. The first one is called shop. Shop is the current one, and it is the section where you have an overview of the products and services. Your favorite contains your favorite items. The Your Request tab provides you with information on the status of requests that you've made. And the last tab, Your Approvals. Uh, the last tab is applicable if you are listed as an approver in the approval flow. But in this tab, you can find requests that require your action. Below the tab section are tiles. These specific tiles are called landing pages. Landing pages are similar to folders containing content. And typically, organizations use landing pages to structure their internal taxonomy by classifying categories for specific items. Each landing page represents an underlying structure of subcategories in which users can find products and services both logically and accurately. On the right side, the recent requests are shown, including their current status. Within guided buying, there are different kinds of tiles. I divided them into two groups, tiles meant for navigation and tiles meant for the purchasing process. Let's start with navigation tiles. Landing pages have already been discussed in a previous slide. Their function is to categorize, provide hierarchy and apply structure to the guided buying content. The external site is a tile that can be used to provide a direct link to a website. In this case, the URL to the Conquer portal was used. This will direct users to Conquer where they can process their travel expenses. There are also tiles meant for the purchasing process. A purchase can either be done through a catalog, a line item form, a request form which sends out quotes to potential suppliers, an invoice request for non-POs, and an ad hoc request. We call these buying channels. Would you like to learn more about buying and invoicing in SAP Ariba? Then join us for our live training starting November 2nd. Registration is open on our website, brainbox.consulting, under SAP Ariba Training. We look forward to seeing you there.